In this video, we'll be changing the background of this picture, the background of the subject. My name is Yemi. Welcome to my channel. The first thing we're going to do is get the picture you want and drag it to your workspace. You can also go to file and place and then go into your documents and select the picture that you have chosen to replace the background with. Now I'm just using the move tool to adjust this the way I want it to be behind the subject. You can, I don't know, make it bigger or make it smaller. And sometimes you just want a pattern on just one part of the picture. So you can actually make it really small just to fit into what you want to adjust. But this is the entire background of the, this is for the entire background of the picture. So this is how I'm going to keep it. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. It's like one of the easiest blend modes to use when you're trying to replace different parts of a picture. I'm also going to adjust the opacity down. I think I eventually took it down to about 18 or 15 percent, but right now it's at, it's at about 50 or 45 actually. <laughs> Next thing I'll do is create a mask. I think by now everyone is used to masking. Just uh, click on that mask button below. And when you click on that, it creates a mask. And you can grab your brush, have your settings, opacity and flow at 100. Make black your foreground because you're painting on white. So if you inverted that box, it would be black and then you have to grab the white brush to paint. But yeah just reminding you of that so brush off the background from the subject so that everything that you want with the background stays behind the subject so there there's 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 a more i said much more cleaner that's what i would say a cleaner way to do this but i don't know i just enjoy using the brush and i don't know i don't find that other method enjoyable you can use the object selection tool to go select the subject and then click on the mask button to create a mask but sometimes you see end up using the brush to adjust whatever you created so at the end of the day i'm like why am i doing the same thing twice like um, i end up using the exact same method two times pointless but i mean to each their own or its own or their own <laughs> So now that this is done, I adjust the opacity further down to about 20, 15. I also decided to change, just see if I can get like a different vibe to it. So I, I did experiment with some gradients, so I turned that off. It wasn't really working the way I wanted. But yeah, I tried to use a different background to see. So these images are from Unsplash. I would have the artist details in my description box so you can check them out on Unsplash. They have a lot of gorgeous images that you can use. Uh, these ones I downloaded for free so you can go there and check them out. I dragged this other image into my workspace. Excuse whatever background noise you're hearing. Um, the house is full of joy so there's laughter everywhere. So I'm dragging this image and adjusting uh, I wanted that halo effect behind but I didn't really get what I was looking for. Perhaps if I used another blend mode it would have been better but I still stuck with soft light because I prefer soft light. So I'm adjusting like I did before and I'll also grab my mask again, create a mask, go ahead grab my brush, have my foreground set to black and paint off. The image or the background image from the subject the way off the subject <laughs> paint it off the subject So just be careful to brush every part of the subject, at least every part you don't want. Sometimes you can leave this on the dress, depends on what you're looking for, what you're trying to get. Sometimes you can leave the image on the dress because it creates a nice effect that you want. 
and other times you take it off like i'm doing at the moment it's up to you how you want your image to look at the end of the day well up to you and your clients if you're working for somebody i also adjusted the opacity in this image too so it would fit what i wanted so that's like the finished look that's what it looks like um before and after so i just wanted to compare you guys let me know which one do you think is the nicest or this is the first one with the green flower behind green and purple there's a second one with a single big flower behind and then i combine both what do you guys think of the combination do you like it does it make sense let me know which one you like in the comment section anyway that's it from me for today um i hope you learned something and um i hope you also enjoy the rest of your time on youtube see you guys next time bye for now